Mam online campus dawa ye kwa inter schools universities and colleges eko kenya msem shre asuku fu enya msem kafu e mane mem e ba usuku mu de kenya msem patro freunia mumu abwa mumu kamu mumu na mumfre zero two four six seven five one one seven five ye dru hot dad dad program ibe life e wo mam online social media handles nini na aha e ya dawa hub سيدنا وحبيبنا وشفيع قلوبنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وبعد Indeed all praises and salutations are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We worship him we praise him and we seek for his forgiveness Whoever Allah has guided no one can misguide him and whoever Allah has misguided no one can ever guide him on the straight path I do bear witness that there is nothing worth worshipping in the heavens, on earth, everywhere except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only. And the noble prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his messenger and his servant. Beloved brothers and, brothers and sisters in Islam, this is a very wonderful day on which We've all gathered ourselves here to listen to our scholars. For if we don't have anyone here, we have Sheikh, we have Imam, and others on the high table, who I learned, we've heard a lot from them. For me coming here, I have a very short advice I'd like to give, which is on truth. Let's ask ourselves, what do we know about truth? If you hear the word truthfulness, what comes into your mind? What is your idea on that word, truthfulness? Mam online campus dawa ye kwa inter schools universities and colleges eko kenya msem shre asuku fu enya msem kafu e mane mem e ba usuku mu de kenya msem patro freunia mumu abwa mumu kamu mumu na mumfre 0246751175 ye dru hot dad dad program ibe life ewo mam online social media handles nini na aha eyo dawa hub in the Quran several times about truthfulness are we part of those Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about are we that kind of truthful people in, in the society you find yourself on campus and do you see yourself to be a trustworthy do you always tell the truth when you speak does your colleagues or your friends know you to be a truthful person what have you done with truthfulness to change someone's life? A lot of us are here, they've never done anything to change someone's life before. But truthfulness is one of the things one can use to change a whole society. There was one young person who is called Abdul Rahman. When he got to his 18th year, he said to his mother, Mommy, I want to go to a certain city to follow the scholars in order to seek knowledge. I want to know a lot about the deen, about the religion, and a lot. So the mother was very pleased with the word he said. And she was even thinking of that before. So she gathered some amount of money for the boy in a way that when he stepped to her, when he informed her that he wanted to go and seek for knowledge, she would use that to support him. So on that day, she had some gold coins she gave to the boy. And she said to him, when he was leaving, she said to him, my son, 
on this day, I have nothing to provide you except two things. One is this gold coins I'm giving you, and I've sold it in the lining of your suit for security reasons. And then the second one I have for you is an advice. And that advice is wherever you find yourself, say the truth. Wherever you find yourself, when you want to talk, don't lie. Say the truth. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the noble Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu attaqu allaha wa koonu ma'as sadiqeen. And the noble prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Alaykum bis sadiq, fa inna sadiq yahdi ila al birr, wa inna al birr yahdi ila al jannah. She said these words to him. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the noble Quran, O you who believe, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be with the truthful ones. And then the noble prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said, Beware of truthfulness. For truthfulness guide towards righteousness. And righteousness guides one to Jannah. So he left. He left with some people living to that city. On their way, they were being stopped by a gang of rabbits. They started searching their belongings, beating those they want to beat, collecting their valuable belongings. Till they got to that young person, that young man. They searched his belongings from first to last. They couldn't get anything. They searched him. They couldn't get any valuable thing but papers, books, and pens. So they asked him, do you have anything valuable on you? He said to them, yes. They said, valuable? He said, yes. So, the one searching him was curious. He wanted to see that valuable item. He's saying yes, it's with him. He searched again. He couldn't find anything. And he took him to their, uh, their boss. And he said to the boss, Boss, this guy said he has something valuable with him. But I couldn't find it. And the boss said to him, Are you sure you have something valuable with you? He said, yes. What is it? He said, a gold coin. And they asked him, where is it? He said, he's been sealed in my lining. So they checked it and they find it. So the man was shocked. How come gold coin that we all need it? You know, if we have it, we'll not give it to you back. We'll collect it and then leave you empty handed. So how come you, you are able to stand before us to tell us that you have that kind of valuable item? So the man was Curious to know the boy a lot. He asked him, who are you? And he said to him, my name is Abdurrahman, the son of so so and so. And he asked him, where are you from? He said to him where he was from. He asked him again, where are you heading to us? He said to him, I'm going to this town. Doing what? He said to him, I'm going to seek for knowledge. He said, mashallah. Then fine. Why didn't you hide this valuable item? When we were asking you, we couldn't find it. But when, you ask, when we asked you, you, you said yes, you have it. Why? What's the secret? He said yes. When I, was, when I was leaving the house, my mother said to me, whenever I open my mouth, I should never tell lies. When the thing is A, I should say A. When it's yes, I should say yes. When it's no, I should say no. So that's why when you ask me, if you did not ask me, I wouldn't have said it. But since you asked me, do I have something valuable with me? I can't lie. So I said yes. So he was looking at him. And the boy said to him, the verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, on, uh, which the mother said to him, Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu taqullaha wa koonu ma'as sadiqeen. And he said to him what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. Beware of truthfulness. For truthfulness guide one 
to righteousness. And for righteousness guides one to Jannah. So all the robbers were shocked. And they were looking at the boy. How come? Then that means there is something or there is a secret behind truthfulness. From then, the boss started weeping. He was shedding tears. He was shocked. And he asked the rest to return the belongings of the others to them. They gave them the items and they allowed them to leave to where they were going to. This is one reason why one should be truthful. You don't know where the truthfulness will take you. You don't know what you will get from the truthfulness you will say. Once you find yourself, wherever you find yourself, learn to tell the truth. Learn to say the truth. And for the truth will set you free wherever you find yourself. هذا وبالله التوفيق وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته تكبير إن شاء الله Mam online campus dawa ya kwa inter schools universities and colleges eko kenya msem shre asukufu enya msem kafu emane mema eba usuku umu abe kenya msem patro freunia mumu abu wa muhu ka muhu mumu na mumfre 0246751175 ya dru hot dad dad program ibe ya life ewa mam online social media handles nini na aha eya wa dawa hub I'm very happy to see the program in this way. Initially, I wasn't that moved. We thought we, we were going into a ditch. But our speakers, they have lighted up our, our program. I recount on our first speaker, Imam Isa Al-Hassan. He drew our attention on we the youth, the qualities in us, and how we should use those equalities to move Islam ahead. Making a reference to the father of all religion, Ibrahim, when he started his prophethood. He was an energetic man. And Almighty Allah used him. So even if we, we, we think that we don't have any quality in us, we have. If there's nothing that we can do as a, as a young or as a youth, your presence alone must be enough. Whatever you do, it should be an exemplary life for anybody close to you to learn. And I always say this, wherever we must and we find ourselves, that immediate community must be safe in our hands. We shouldn't be seen pointing hands at that this group of people are this or that. As our father, our mentor, Sheikh Ibrahim Nyama said, talked about our misconception. Let us not allow people to say, yes, we said it, that this is what these people are. Because there is a behavior in our zongos, which we are always being judged with. That shouldn't be the case. We are all learning. We are putting ourselves in a position that we should be able to move or be an exemplary life for others to see.
And again, we also had a story, a touching story from our uh, regional uh, secretary. It was very wonderful. That tells us that all of us, whatever situation we find ourselves, the truth should be told. And I must also say that you've all comported yourself and you've made the program a success. We haven't had any misunderstanding. All those coming with some kind of ideas, I think by now they have, they have cleared in mind. Our ladies, for instance, when our father made mention of a man taking on more than one wife, I don't think they were, they were happy with it. I don't think so. Some of them might have had in mind why a graduate being a second wife being third wife, but our father made us clear his own as an example. If we are to serve our religion, we shouldn't bother about what pe uh, people will say. We are here to serve, and all our practices must be in line with the teachings and practices of Islam. So wherever we find ourselves, let's do the right thing. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Abubakar Seiko. We are very pleased to have you in our midst, in our presence, and that wonderful speech. May Allah increase you in knowledge, forgive your shortcomings, and grant you Jannah. Mom Online Campus Dawa Yeko Inter Schools Universities and Colleges Eko Kenya Msem Shre Asuku for Enya Msem Kafo E Mane Mem E Bau Suku Mu De Kenya Msem Patro Freunia Mumu Abwa Mumu Kamu Mumu Namu Fre 0246 751175 Ye Dru Hot Dad Dad Program Ibe Life Ewo Mom Online Social Media Handles Nini Na Aha Eyo Dawa Hope